Hey, how's it going everybody? Burnt Brian here and welcome to another entry into my fiery diary where I talk about the future of my channel and things I got going on in my life and stuff like that. It's, uh, you know, when I do my reviews, I kind of try to keep them a little professional and try to keep a lot of the personal stuff about my life out of those reviews. So this is my way to interact with you guys on a much more personal, uh, meaningful level. So uh, first thing I want to talk about today is the intro video that I've been working on or a friend of mine has been working on for me. And uh, I can't begin to thank him enough for all the hard work he's done. This is going to be uh, an epic, amazing, and yes, I use the word epic, uh, intro video. And uh, I'm incredibly excited about it. I showed one or two people. They think it's like TV quality. So hopefully you guys like it. I'll have a new review coming up tomorrow, probably around 7 or 8 o'clock East Coast time. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. I'd love to get your feedback and look forward to hearing what you have to say about it. And um, I'll definitely have a link down in the description where you can find all of his work uh, tomorrow and stuff and check it out. It's, it's, it's really awesome. I'm so excited to have this. It's just going to kind of take my reviews and everything to a whole nother level, I think. Um, but yeah, so please watch out for that. Uh, also, I'm going to try to do a couple, you know, videos with some other YouTubers out there, maybe some of the other big YouTubers, try to work on uh, some collaboration videos. Um, I might try to do a couple challenges. But uh, I've got a couple cool ideas I'm working on anyway. Speaking of challenges, I will probably do the Red Bull and Milk Challenge. I saw uh, my friend Big Red, uh, 12315. Uh, he, if you didn't see him, I posted something on my Facebook not too long ago, but he did a video where he took on the Carolina Reaper, the dried one, and it was just brutal. I've never seen somebody's nose bleed from eating a chili, but uh, that was crazy. It was insane, and uh, glad to hear that he's all right and doing well. But he just posted the uh, Red Bull and Milk Challenge, and... And I said, you know what, why not? Maybe I could give that a shot. And doing something completely different, I had mentioned to him about Coke and milk and mixing them. And, you know, for some reason, people are always disgusted when I say that, you know, it tastes good and that I, you know, drink it a lot. And I think it was actually either Laverne or Shirley or one of them used to drink it uh, back in the day. But it's, it's a really simple drink. And I'm going to just whip up one while I sit here and finish talking. But what I do is... You know, we'll pull our, pour a good bit of milk in there. And I don't have actual regular Coke, so we'll go with uh, the cherry Coke. So, you know, when you mix milk and Coke, it's basically like having a, a, a Coke float for the most part, a poor man's Coke float. So, oh yeah, here. And we'll just pour all that Coke in there. Again, I've never had it with cherry Coke, so it might not be... Uh, that good. I'm not too sure. I guess it would be like a cherry coke float. But, smells good. Give it a taste. Oh yeah. It's like drinking a cherry coke float. It's so, so good. I know the Red Bull Milk Challenge isn't going to be the same because it looks like you know, like uh, uh, cottage cheese or something. I mean, it separates and just it just looks disgusting. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Um, a lot of cool stuff coming up. I've got all kinds of uh, hot sauces to review. A lot of great companies. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to starting in uh, March, we're doing the uh, Top Sauce uh, competition for the Hot Sauce Underground. It's amazing. I've already gotten eight sauces out of the 21 that are coming my way. Really looking forward to trying it. These guys sent me in uh, ingredients along with their uh, bottles so I could kind of see what else they put in their sauces. And it's amazing. I can tell you it just sounds really, really good. All the different sauces. The consistencies look really good. Who knows? Maybe somebody's going to have a winner or something that they can put out. Maybe mark it to, um, you know, to uh, sell to the world. Who knows? Uh, but that's going to be amazing. It, this is one of the coolest projects I've had the opportunity to work on. I love the Hot Sauce Underground. It's a uh, private group for um, for some of us secret sauce lovers. And um, and uh, I, it's just a, an amazing group of people. Like I said, the Chili Head community in general is great. But everyone we have in there is, is cool. They're passionate. A lot of hobby sauce makers. And um, 
you know, we don't sell or anything. We trade with each other. We share the passion and the love of these things with each other, which is really cool. And uh, so, yeah, it's going to be awesome. These sauces are going to be great. Uh, I got the opportunity to pick the five ingredients that they got to use, and they, you know, could choose whatever ingredients they wanted after that. So it's, um, it's definitely going to be really neat. That's all I can say. Look forward to that. Be sure to keep your eyes open for that as well. Last thing I want to talk about is the Mr. Chili Awards. Uh, I was contacted by Andrew Ayub a while back, and he wanted to branch out in the United States. He is Mr. Chili, and he runs the awards over in Australia. Uh, they have a huge following over there. I'll put a link down in the description to their Facebook as well as their website so you can see previous winners and the Hall of Fame and all that stuff. But uh, so far I haven't gotten a huge amount of feedback. I haven't gotten a lot of response. I've tried posting in a few different groups and maybe people just aren't interested or they don't know. I'm willing to talk more about it and give whatever information anybody needs. You know, I, I would really like to get more people involved. Should I even continue? Uh, trying to do this. I pushed it back from from starting in March to April to try to get more people in and maybe some of you reviewers out there uh, you could work with me on this to try to contact some car some companies. I've got a team of 12 judges that are ready to go. It'll be all blind test. Um, so it's 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 going to be a lot of fun. If you guys want to get involved, please get in touch with me. I'd love to work with you all some more. And uh, let's see if we can get this off the ground because otherwise, I mean, I really don't want to not do it. it, it I think this it would be a lot of fun. It would be a great way for some of us you know, uh, reviewers in the community to work together as well. So anyway, thanks for listening to my semi-coherent rambling during this uh, journal here. But it will get better as time goes on. It's only the second uh, entry into this thing. But um, a lot of cool stuff going on. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, I almost forgot. I have two bottles from Reggae Frank. I'll have a picture so you can see him here. If you don't remember Reggae Frank 09, he was an amazing YouTube reviewer, a great guy all around. Uh, he kind of really steered me and guided me in the right direction, gave me a lot of advice on how to make a channel and how I should do videos and different things like that. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away last year in July, and I, I, you know, I'll never forget. It was Fourth of July. I was at a beach resort. And um, it was the 5th of July, actually. I had woke up and I checked my, uh, you know, Facebook and email and I saw the, the stories that he had passed away in his sleep. And um, he's dearly loved and missed by all of us in the community, um, by his fans. But thankfully, we, you know, at least still all have all of his videos. His YouTube page is still up. So I'll put a link down in the description so you can go and check out his channel as well. And, um, and that was Butthead telling me I have a... Uh, a text message. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I guess I'll finish this. Good stuff. Very, very good. Don't let anybody tell you milk and coke is bad. It's delicious. Alright, so anyway again, thanks for watching everybody and as always stay toasty my friends.